Hey guys, so uh, we do have here the Galaxy S5 Mini from 2014. Uh, this was Samsung's direct sequel to the excellent Galaxy S4 Mini. Uh, and uh, I wanted to check out Android 5.1.1 on the device here. So I have installed that uh, courtesy of uh, Signage and Mod, uh, which you can get from XDA. And I'll leave a link in the description uh, for those who are interested in that. Uh, one of my major complaints with the Galaxy S5 Mini, although it was a very solid device, I did feel that the device was a bit sluggish compared to the uh, S4 Mini, which uh, I think it's running the Exynos 3 series, as I remember. So, uh, it, to me, it didn't feel as fast as the S4 Mini, uh, with its like dual-core uh, Snapdragon S4 Pro or something, I think it was. Uh, but now, with this ROM, I, I do think there's been a substantial... Uh, performance boost here so those of you who are looking to really get a very nice clean uh, experience here which is snappy uh, should definitely check this out here uh, this is uh, based on Android 5.1.1 obviously so very uh, recent version of Android uh, and the signage mod is 12.1 as well for those of you who are interested in that uh, and uh, we can see that uh, the TouchWiz isn't uh, on the device. However, if if you do like the TouchWiz kind of look, the great thing about uh, Cyanogen Mod, you can actually install these themes here. And I've been looking down here uh, to some of these themes. You can see you can get the LG G2 theme uh, as well as the Galaxy S5 theme. So you could put the Galaxy S5 theme on here. Uh, and then uh, also run Android 5.1.1 as the main kind of operating system. I think the S5 Mini is actually stuck on KitKat at the moment, and we're not really sure when Samsung will be updating it anytime soon. But in regards to this particular ROM here, we can have a look at uh, the dialer, for example, when you are calling out. The number you have called is not recognized. Please check the number. If you need help, call the operator on 100 from your mobile. So you can see there, very nice and quick to get into it, no lags whatsoever. Uh, they have actually changed around the function of the multitasking button and the home button. So now the home button is used to multitask, which many people will fondly remember back in the day, that's how it was. Uh, but this button has now become a menu button. And in the menu, you can find uh, settings here. As you can see, I've already put on the larger icons. Uh, you can also put on different scroll effects as well to give a bit of kind of flavor to the experience. So I will put it on the overview kind of mode here. And uh, I do uh, enjoy this customization of signage and mod kind of things. Uh, we can see in the settings here, we do have uh, some uh, di additional settings here such as the LCD density you can bump it up a little, little bit to 360 uh, I think this is a 720p display uh, normally so that's pretty cool uh, we also get uh, some of the normal stuff you might be used to such as customization of the notification drawer and uh, if we go back into it again well I'm getting lost now uh, if we go back down here, we can see we do get system profiles, so you can put on whichever one you are wanting to. Uh, you can control the buttons a little bit more here, like the backlight duration. So quite a lot of customization options in here, which is very nice to see. And uh, I think uh, everything's been working quite well that I've uh, checked out so far, such as the camera. So you can see we do have this uh, 8 megapixel camera. I think it takes 6 megapixel shots though when you're doing the widescreen mode as far as I remember. Uh, so you can see you can do 4x3, 16x9. So uh, it looks like the, uh, the recording is capped to 720p though so do bear that in mind. I don't think the full HD is on there at the moment but you can see here uh, when you want to take a shot, nice and quick, no messing around, and uh, the video, we can have a look at that as well. So 
so it all seems to be working quite well here uh, which is good uh, in terms of the speed as I said it uh, does feel a lot uh, nippier here uh, when you are going in and out of stuff just, uh, very snappy affair here uh, I think that's probably the main thing which I'm really enjoying about this particular uh, ROM uh, we also do get uh, some audio effects you can put on here so if we just go into the music put that at the start and then uh, here you can see these are all working you get more as well when you put your headphones and you can control some other stuff So, very nice uh, customization of the music options there. Uh, in terms of the wallpapers, you get a few of them here, such as the ones that you recognize from the OnePlus One, uh, and uh, some other ones as well, which are quite cool. I do like this one, for example. And uh, some older ones on there as well. So, I think it's definitely a pretty cool ROM here that you should uh, check out if you've got the S5 Mini. Uh, in many ways, uh, the S5 Mini is still very relevant today. I think it was just the speed that was letting it down a little bit. Uh, but you can see it is still waterproof without the flap, which is amazing, really. Uh, and that is a big bonus of having this device. So, uh, yeah, just a quick little video here checking that out. I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.